A generous community member approaches you, offering some free promotion for the shelter in a local magazine. What should we promote? Adoptions or fosters? Let's promote some adoptions, and we should get a boost in adoptions if only for a little while. Tomorrow! That's wonderful! Nichols, maybe we'll be able to find you a new home. But hello everyone, and welcome, welcome back to, to the rescue, where we are here watching Ruby getting a bath! Oh my gosh, that's so adorable! Man, it is so useful to be able to have the like help now because now people are scooping the poop for us they're going ahead and taking care of the dogs for us uh speaking of taking care of the dogs though nickels let's see so you are a eight-year-old medium shepherd we've already vaccinated you and everything i thought you looked familiar nickels what on earth were you doing in the new arrivals pen who knows but hello everyone and welcome welcome back so you guys seem totally a hundred percent in love and obsessed with all of the silly adventures that we can get up to here in our to the rescue stories so we are back with our ever expanding dog rescue and thank you oh <gasps> new puppy all right oreo is waiting for us i'm really hoping we'll actually get like a pregnant dog at some point because i would love oreo you're so cute a small hound who likes the yellow food got it all right let's go ahead and i'm actually going to bathe oreo myself since it doesn't seem like we have a lot we need to worry about doing just yet oreo let me go ahead and put you away there you go little cutie oh nice and somebody just donated to our shelter excellent excellent all right let's go ahead and do a little bit more scrub under those little ears get all the little paws all right there you go oreo and then i'm gonna go ahead and put that away but welcome back everybody so yes we are here having a grand time with all of our doggos oh wow i didn't even have time to worry about that good job employee <laughs> like zadam who seems to be having a good time playing outside zadam look at you such a happy little puppy, even though you're food aggressive. And that's not a very good trait. And also deaf. I swear, we are going to keep Zadam and give them a fantastic life, friends. We truly are. All right. And then let me go ahead and actually scoop this poop. There we go. Apparently, I have legitimately hired, like, the one person who never will scoop the dog poop. So thank you guys for letting me know. I have kind of messed up on the employee part of things. <gasps> Another new puppy! Margo! Oh my gosh, it's so small! Margo is a brand new abandoned baby retriever. What the heck? Okay, who really likes yellow food. So I'm gonna go put Margo up with our other new puppy, Oreo. They both, whoops, Oreo, I want to put both of you guys in here, please. All right, there we go. Ooh, and somebody just donated. Man, that's fantastic. All right, we're really having a good day. Hopefully this means that our shelter will start thriving even more. But thank you guys so much for the tips and advice. And there have been a big chunk of updates that will hopefully have stabilized to the rescue. If you too have played and run into like some unexpected issues, hopefully those things have been cleared up. And thank you guys so much for letting me know how I could actually <laughs> go ahead and start putting in more rooms. You can actually rotate them. Them. I just was completely not paying attention to the okay Q and E or you're supposed to be able to rotate them let's see but see it doesn't work for me I knew I wasn't going bonkers all right let's not build that what if I wanted to build like another play space hmm aha uh -huh. so some of the things you can rotate and some of them you can't okay so good to know so I don't think you can actually rotate break rooms and I'm not sure if you can put, like, just a break room next to a break room. Is that something you can do? Maybe? Here, we're going to hide the walls for just a second. Whoops, no, I want to demolish. No, demolish! That one, there we go. All right, so if I hide the walls, I wonder if that makes it so that I can actually come in and, like, figure out where to put in a second break room. And then I need to put a door in to that, right? So can I put a door over here? somewhere okay i can just like put a door free for him okay so i don't think you could like arrange break rooms like that unfortunately all right no no no. i don't i want i want to demolish there there we go all right so i need to do a little bit of playing to still figure out like how we can go ahead and put in these hallways let's see yeah and so i could put in like a hallway and things like that Okay, so we're gonna play with it. We're gonna play with it and figure out like how to appropriately expand our shelter. 
Uh, especially because I would really love to have like more room for everybody. Can I put a door? I want to see if I can put a door. Rotate. Yes! Okay, so I could put a door right here, which means I could make a hallway, which means we could have like more rooms to go into, which might be a really good idea. So if I put a door there, and then I go ahead, I could have a gigantic kennel room maybe. I think I want to unlock more of these. Whoa! Okay, that's like a huge room. That's actually really cool. Okay, so I could have another gigantic kennel room. So we can go ahead and we can have some great expansions to our shelter that then would provide more room for like kennels. But I think I would want to start unlocking the deluxe kennels before we really start doing this. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to discard those changes because I don't want to get into uh, too much finagling there. Let's come over to the bark book. And let's see what kind of events we can run today. Puppy therapy! Bring some dogs and let people have a one-on-one -on -one relaxation time and a reputation reward if we do that. And then, oh, but foster homes added to network if we do a foster drive. Ooh, ooh, I want, I'm gonna do puppy therapy. We're gonna take our new puppies. 18 reputation, yes! 100 reputation! I would say we are a highly reputable shelter at this point. And actually what I would love to start doing is even experimenting a little bit with uh, making our puppies even more popular by starting to pick a couple of the random pups and then maybe taking them to our Labarkatory! We could submit them for our Sims 4 Labarkatory and we could say that we're just like raising their popularity by having them participate in a, a harmless thought experiment. No actual puppies made in the course of this. Hello, ma'am. How are you doing today? Hi, Siri. Oh, wait. Do you have time for a few more questions? That's right. This is the journalist. See, we're becoming more famous. I'm excited to write another story about your shelter. The last one you wrote was amazing. Fire away. Thank you. Okay, here we go. What's the toughest thing about this job? Hmm, finding homes, limited resources. Honestly, I would say it's finding the homes. Not being able to place every dog with a family. We want every dog to get a permanent home they love, but sometimes it can be tricky to find a match. Wow, that sounds really tough. I'll make sure our readers understand that challenge. I, I think that's all I need for now. I'll be back soon to learn more about your work. Bye. Bye. All right. So like foster homes added a network. Yes. All right. So I think because of her work, uh, this shelter looks cool, but I wish the dogs were like registered or whatever. How do you know they are like real? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, now that we have that, I guess we can come over. <gasps> Look, there's so many more foster homes and they have different li reliability. Look, and Aggie and Kaja are over at the foster home right now. I've never had anybody get adopted from the foster home, uh, but there's a first time for everything. Maybe let's look at our like most like dire dog like the dogs who is the dog with the least adoptability <laughs> misa the small drooly mastiff and zadam who i love very much but let's actually give misa to a foster home how about with this reliability of six and then we're gonna see if she actually gets adopted from there but she might be a forever pup a forever foster all right so that actually is starting to work properly that makes me very happy to see Someone has donated, wonderful, wonderful. And meanwhile, the dogs are just doing fantastic. There's like a tiny bit of poop to scoop, but other than that, maybe we'll spend the day playing with Zadam a little bit. But yeah, this is looking fantastic. I think there have been a lot of updates to kind of like fix the game somewhat. All right, Zadam, I'm gonna go ahead and let you play out here. Oh, here we go. Pull backwards with moderation to keep the rope taunt. All right, I'm gonna do my best. All right, all right, careful, careful. I wanna make it challenging for him, but not too challenging. And we're gonna see if we can make him really happy. I think we need to like keep it for the whole duration of puppy play time. Have you guys ever played with your dogs? I guess this is true with like any creature or even like when I was a nanny, there was definitely a lot of like playing with the children that went on. But have you ever found yourself having to play with like your dog or a little kid longer than like you potentially would have? Oh, like his adaptability has evened out because he's so happy. All right, Zadam, we're gonna go ahead and put you away because we have another puppy who I think is thirsty and waiting for us. And I mean that in the most loving way. 
But I always found it was really fun. Oh, hello, Karma! Oh, she's a nervous shepherd who's really hungry and she likes the blue food. Okay, gotcha. But I always actually found it really fun when you hit that point of like, oh boy, I'm kind of bored playing with this puppy out here now, or I'm kind of bored playing with this little kid right now and reading this book for the 800th time. But that just gives you an opportunity to try to use your imagination, your creativity even more. And I think having to play so many repetitive games with little kids when I was a nanny and then when I was a, like assistant foster parent for so long actually was the thing that made my imagination start to explode. Because it's either do or die in those situations. Waddles! Oh, you're so precious, Waddles! likes the green food a small terrier oh if I leave him okay no I think our employees won't come get him themselves I was just curious if they might and we'll put waddles in there and we'll give him a minute to go ahead and eat and then we will take him to bathe I think oh dear there's another dog already okay kitty the dog a large shepherd who likes the blue food okay we're starting to like have a lot more animals guys this is not a bad thing. Kitty, why don't we have you and Zadam? Maybe you can like help Zadam learn how to behave properly. Uh, but we'll leave Kitty over here. We are starting to fill up a lot on the dogs. Because I know I said like, oh, wouldn't it be fantastic to get even more puppies last time? But I need to really think carefully about my words. I might be, oh, oh dear. Oh dear. All right. You know what? We're a famous shelter now. Beaky! You're so cute! You're shedding prone, good with cats, bad with other dogs, and you're prone to car sickness. Alright, we will leave you in your own little little spot. Got it. Let me go ahead and fix the food to blue food for you. Oh geez, I need to go buy a lot of the green bison food too. Alright, this is fine. This is fine. I'm sure it's going to be totally fine becoming like a super famous shelter. It's suddenly just buried in dogs. This is gonna work out just fine. I'm sure. All right, let's go ahead and buy some more food before I forget, because I really don't want to run out. There we go. And we'll just buy all of that. Excellent, excellent. I can't buy anything else yet. We've got a lot of money, so we should be okay. <gasps> Kitty gained a new trait! High energy! So I think Kitty just gave our, like, worker a total run for her money. <laughs> Getting that bath. That's adorable. And Zadam, are you really happy? Look at Zadam. So happy. It'll be interesting. <gasps> Do we have an adopter to finish out the day? You guys! A new home? New home for our pups? Hello, sir. Oh, wait, what? I found this dog in a hot air balloon. I think it's lost. The, the caller says ping pong. Sure, we'll take care of it. The name sounds familiar. Ping pong! You're back! What on earth were you doing inside of a hot air balloon? I have a lot of questions. All right, let's put you in with Sydney. Oh my goodness gracious. How is Ping Pong back because of a hot air balloon? Like what? All right, that's too funny. Uh, and actually, we'll see if tomorrow Zadam might still have the happiness boost from going ahead and playing with us. I'd be really curious to see if that's how it works out. But all right, a full day at the shelter. Thank you very much. I do think we did absolutely fantastic. Let's go ahead and clock out. I'm excited about all the new ideas. I'm thankful that the donations were able to cover um, the wages and the utilities. Whew, that's actually gonna get a little tricky. I was sassy about having so much money, but now I feel less sassy. <laughs> and then let's see, grants, schedule one community event. I totally accomplished that, so hopefully they'll like give us some, give us some monies. I hope we've collected all the money from these milestones because uh, I'm beginning to feel like we need a lot of it. And then I gained two skill points. All right, all right. Not bad. And I'm pretty excited about all of the new ideas that we have about things that we could do to make our dogs more popular, like possibly working with the Sims 4 Laboratory Challenge. We could pick a dog and then like get its breed and maybe pick another dog or pick a random animal, which I think would be kind of fun. Uh, we've got more things to do. Let's see, gain rep reputation for each trait. We've got more things to do in terms of trying to expand our shelter, work on public relations, manage our staff. 
Let's see, will this person clean? I think that person will clean. I think we're doing pretty good. We might even hire more people. I wish you could name these people because you guys submitted the cutest staff applications in the comments of our previous video. But all right, a good day at the puppy shelter. I, I, I really kind of want to see this place become even more chaotic. I'm not gonna lie. I think that would be a lot of fun. And I think it would be a lot of fun to go ahead and start selecting dogs that we could go ahead and try to crossbreed to because uh, I just can't help myself. I'm curious. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining us on this adventure. If you could, do please leave a like for Ping Pong, having been discovered in a hot air balloon of all things. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.